beefy or what? We ain't gonna be beefing each other, I don't think. This is Umar for Box Nation. Just seen a superstar, Josh Kelly, walk down the uh, red carpet. Someone that you've become very close with very quickly, training at uh, Booth Gym, David. Yeah, yeah. Um, my stable mate. But obviously, our friendship's grown um, beyond that. You know, he's a good friend of me. Good friend of mine. So. I've heard plenty about Josh, Josh Kelly over the years. How talented he is. Just tell me some of the attributes that make him that talented, David. The boy's talented, man. You know, I see it firsthand in the gym and I see what he does in sparring. Um, and he's cool, calm and collected. And I'll be real with you, a lot of people don't know Josh Kelly because uh, you see his style of fighting and you just assume certain things. A lot of people don't think he likes mixing it and standing in there, but that man's got bottle, mate, trust me. He's got what? He's got bottle. Oh, right, yeah. he, he's in there, he's, he's willing to inspire anyone. You know, um, I've done a few rounds with Josh. What? Yeah, yeah, we do little tippy, you know what I'm saying? Um, working on movement and just, you know, being fast and whatnot. Fair enough. Um, how much have you learned in your a time lot, down man. at the booth gym? A lot. You know, there's a different way of fighting. How are you, bub? You right, yeah? Yes, bub. Yes. Yeah, you know, there's a different way of fighting and whatnot. And, um, yeah, man, it's good knowledge. You know, I'm a student. You know what they always say? When a student's ready, the teacher will appear. So um, I'm a student listening and taking things in. You need to see that move pay off in the ring. When are you back in the ring, David? Um, soon. Just God's timing. Yeah. And a, f a fight to be excited about? We'll is, it, is it the obvious one with we'll Soul Dakers? We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah. Fair enough. All right, let me ask you about this Saturday night then with the main event. You've sparred both men. How, you've done plenty of rounds with Daniel, haven't you, in previous years? Um, more recently, more. I've done more rounds with AJ recently than I have with Daniel. But I've done a lot of rounds with Daniel, but I haven't sparred Daniel in, in a while. So um, obviously, most, most recently, I've been sparring AJ. So yeah. What I'm hearing from a, a lot of heavyweights, a lot of people in boxing, is actually these two guys. Different types of jabs, but they've got the best two jabs in the heavyweight division. Do you agree with that or not? Both got good jabs. That's true. Both, both got tremendous jabs. Both know how to let their hands go. But just one's got relatively more IQ than the other. And I think sometimes IQ plays a part. You can't just be a heavyweight that bangs. You know, um, it doesn't always work. Look at George Foreman. It was a heavyweight that whacked, and he still come up stuck sometimes. Do you think Joshua will have perhaps tricky moments in there still, though? More than likely so. They're both big boys and they're both going to be trading bombs. You know, um, if you go into a battle thinking it's going to be smooth sailing, then you might be in trouble. So Joshua might have some tricky moments, but I believe they'll overcome them. It's going to be a good fight. I think everyone's right enough to do well, which makes it better. Um, so there's, like, there's no pressure on Dubois, but there is pressure on Dubois, because Dubois still got to perform and Dubois got to do what he does. Um, obviously, nobody knows what Dubois is looking like in camp, but... I'm assuming they've been rectifying certain things and changing things that he was doing wrong in the Hergovich fight. You've talked about IQ paying off for Joshua in this fight. How smart is he as a fighter? Anthony? He's smart, he's smart, and he's got a good team around him. You know, um, it's about having a team around you as well, but yeah, he's a smart individual. You know, um, a lot of people don't really give Ed AJ the credit he deserves, obviously. Look, he's beating the likes of Povetkin, Pulev, you know... Um, Parker. Parker. These are, these are like, world-level operators, and they're good fighters themselves, so... Obviously, it'll be interesting to see how um, how he'll improve when he's fighting someone like Dubois. But he's clearly got the IQ. You know, he come up through them fights, no problem. So, and in terms of I mentioned it before, Daniel's jab. When you felt it, a lot of people say it's like a backhand. Is that true? I don't know. It's just like every other heavy. I really? suppose he's got a good jab, but I wouldn't sit there and say it's like a backhand. I mean, I wouldn't know though, but. I suppose it's subjective, isn't it? And sometimes styles make fights. So some people might wear the whole thing, others might not wear it as much. You know, someone's throwing a jab, someone might take, take the whole shot. So I suppose it, it, it's an opinionated question. You've got to ask certain fighters that. Or if you ask me as a fighter, I kind of, we're all big boys, and I've been in there with some heavy hitters before. So obviously, I kind of know what to expect from, heavy, from heavy hitters, and I know what it's like when you're in there with a serious fighter. Adam Booth said it goes early, he believes it goes three to six. Um, he's edging it towards Joshua. Do you think it goes early as well? Yeah, it's going to be done within the first six rounds. Both fighters bring it. Only, only so much um, a fighter can take when there's punches raining in on him. So, yeah, it's going to be done within the first six, I believe. See you there ringside on Saturday, yeah? I'll see you then, brother. Come on. Right, boys.